that's kind of a character I've been wanting to play. Uh, a detective. A very cerebral type guy. As opposed to the, you know, the check the gun, clack, get ready to bang the door in type uh, cop. And it, uh, I thought it was a very good script to start with. And a very interesting uh, and central character in the script. Um, and then there's the added ingredient of Brad Pitt. So it was all a big come on. Why, why don't we got to sit here, rotting, waiting till the lunatic does it again? It's dismissive to call him a lunatic. Don't make that mistake. Come on, he's insane. Look, right now he's probably dancing around in, 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 his, in his grandma's panties. Yeah, rubbing himself in peanut butter. Ooh, how's that? I don't think so. You've worked with some very interesting directors, with Bruce Beresford, with Clint Eastwood. What makes David Fincher distinctive? There's always something distinctive about each one. And uh, sometimes the distinction is a sameness. Um, you mentioned Bruce Beresford. Uh, what I remember most distinctly about Bruce is the same thing I remember about uh, Clint Eastwood. And that is how pretty much hands off Bruce and uh, Clint Eastwood are. Things just sort of flow around them, and they very quietly let them go. And every now and then, I remember Bruce might tiptoe in and speak quietly about some minor detail and tiptoe back out, and things continue. It was the same thing with uh, Clint, whereas, uh, and I shoot quick. Whereas David uh, seems to be more of the young perfectionist, needs a lot of film, and uh, has a lot of verbal input into uh, each setup. Gould's wife. She was out of town at the time. So this means she saw something. What if it's a threat? Uh, I'll put her in a safe house. What if it isn't something she has seen, but something she's supposed to see, but hasn't been given a chance? There are clearly many more choices today for African-American actors in Hollywood. Yes, and they're going to get even greater, because uh, the more material you, the more you open up material, the more you find to open up. There's, um, there's a, a, a gold mine of untapped material in, just in, in history alone, if you want to start writing scripts about historical events, you know, in the world. Uh, I did the picture Glory, and it, it just blew an awful lot of people away because they had no concept, no idea ever that there were ever any blacks who fought in the Civil War. Well, blacks fought in every single engagement that the uh, United States have had. No matter who they fought, blacks fought in it. So, you know, these things need to be dealt with. So I, I, f I think eventually there's going to be um, a way that that can be done so that it works the same way film has always worked. That is, an, an, as an entertainment media first. You can't use it really as a teaching tool until you know how to entertain, you know.